Well, whoever you are, whatever you are, whatever you're doing and whoever you're doing it to, I'm Bushka on Blitz and I've got a treat for you today. We're going to be having a look at the SU-152, the tail of two bitties, basically uh, the 152mm gun-toting SU-152 or the 122mm gun-toting SU-152. Uh, before I go any further, obviously we've been pumping along with the uh, new channel, bushkaonblitz.com. Lots of content going up there. Lots of hub-like news, so get along there and check it all out. It's been a real hoot the last couple of days. Um, I've been doing a lot of patron-only stuff. I've set up a patron Telegram chat where uh, the guys that are sponsoring the channel have been popped in. We've got over 50 people in there now. We have a good chat. We talk about the game, all that kind of thing. Uh, and we've got some patron-only events coming up. So hats off to those of you who are sponsoring the channel. But if you're not, the content's going to still keep coming thick and fast. And today we're dealing with the SU-152. Now, the reason this tank is so interesting is it has two guns that work very, very differently. You have the 152 millimeter gun. It is basically the biggest Derposaurus running around at this tier. It throws a shell the size of a small German car at the opposition, as you can see there. It's got an average of 640 alpha. And you never feel under-tiered when you're playing in a tier 8 match in this tank. Uh, the HE is the real kicker. You can hit tanks for 960 average damage with this thing, uh, with HE, when you can pen it. And the pen is 86 millimeters. So there are plenty of tanks at tier 7 and, uh, and below that you can penetrate with this monster. Now, the other gun on it is the 122 millimeter. Now, that... That's a little bit different. That is a far more effective weapon at range. Uh, the two guns, 0.50 dispersion for the 152, 0.41 dispersion for the 122. 2.7 second aim time for the 152, 2.3 second aim time for the 122. Uh, and obviously the penetration on the 122 is far superior. 175 millimeters with your standard AP rounds and 135 with the 152 but little secret the 152 millimeter has heat high explosive anti-tank and it pens to the tune of 250 millimeters so what you'll see with the way i play this tank uh when i'm running the big derp gun which is most of the time because to be honest you can see it is just so much fun to run uh is i run mostly heat because you're going to need that to pen your standard uh tanks and then I use HE when possible or when needed. You can very conceivably run this tank with nothing but high explosive and you'll kill it. But we'll get to the 152mm. I'm going to show you a little video of me with the 122mm on the tank. Now the tank itself is plenty mobile. 28 degrees, although until I changed the gun for this video, I actually was running it with the stock tracks. This is something I do all the time. I forget to upgrade. So I had 175,000 XP on the thing and forgot to upgrade it. Uh, 43 kilometers an hour, very, very quick. Now I'm about to show you one of the, I feel sad showing this uh, this spot to people. This is, this is gonna get, I'm, next time I go to this map, I bet you this spot's taken again. But here you go, this is the 122 millimeter as seen from Bushka's secret spot on Port Bay. Uh, this sucks. <laughs> people, this is like my little spot in Castile. As soon as I started showing it in videos, it went. Now, the DPM on this thing is the key. It does 2,800 damage per minute when you can get things going. And you don't have to use a lot of APCR because 175 millimeters is heaps of pen uh, at tier 7. It also has a far superior aim time and a far superior dispersion rate. But it doesn't have the fun that you get running into someone and hitting them for 700 like you can with the good old 152 millimeter derposaurus now um this this tank though with this gun equipped is far more like a traditional td the gameplay style is very much a bit of sniping getting up close when necessary but really not pushing forward until everyone's done and dusted and you're going to see when i play the 152 millimeter it is nearly the exact opposite to the gameplay style. I follow people around, I run with the heavies, I push up and basically want to put the muzzle of the gun up next to the target that I'm firing at and unleash Hell Maximus because the gun is quite simply, 
superb at derping. You won't find a better pound-for-pound -pound derper in the game than the SU-152 running the 152mm gun. Now, however, you can see it's very much more the traditional method of tank destroyer play with this tank when you're running the longer-barreled gun. Uh, it's a far more sleek-looking tank when you don't have the ugly little stub nose thing coming out the end. And as I said, at 100, uh, at 28 degrees of traverse and 43 kilometers an hour, it is quick enough to keep up with your heavies and keep up with most of the tanks that you're going to find. Now, they've only got two left. We've got three. You'd say I've been camping, but I'm doing plenty of damage, and I was in a spot where I wasn't taking damage. That's my job if I'm running it like this. If I wasn't, I'd be doing it completely differently. So I'm going to get down from here now and I'm going to go sort this Comet out and deal with the SP-1C. Now, your average alpha in this is 400. And 2800 DPM is absolutely monstrous. But your average HE alpha is 500, uh, which is fine. You can pen quite comfortably on an SP-1C uh, or an RU-251 or, uh, for that matter, a uh, VK-2801 with this kind of alpha or a Type 62 Dragon and that kind of penetration. Um, the penetration numbers on the HE of the 152 are 86 millimeters and 960 average alpha. So quite obviously, that gun was built to fire massive caliber shells. And you also find with that tank, you get a whole lot more in the way of ammo racks. It's basically a fantastic tank for ammo racking other tanks when you're firing 152 millimeters worth of shell because it's going to hit more internally just inside the tank itself plenty of snapshot ability though with this tank when you're running fast and loose and just traversing and with the he it will still hit very nicely on an sp1c he tries to go up there and always love catching shots on the gun mantlet of the SU-152. So that's the tank with the 122mm, a fine tank, an excellent DPM tank, and a tank that can, at 0.41 dispersion and 2.3 second aim time with an enhanced gun laying drive, can certainly do the business as a long range TD. Let's get to the fun part and have a look at the SU-152 running the Monster Derposaurus cannon. Not that one there, this one here, the little fat thing that looks like someone put a huge barrel on the end of a uh, tank chassis uh, and sort it off. You're like you're about to go and rob a liquor store. Um, and my God, it's horrible at range. I mean, you'll occasionally hit a shot, but nothing great. You've only got uh, about three and a half rounds per minute, which is horrific. So you really want to be peak -a booming with this thing whenever possible. Walk up, unleash hell, let it back. And that's what we're doing here. You can see we've got the heat in, smack, then try and hide it just on the side. We overangle on the side scrape and we go down. But we're not hanging at the back and we're going to push up in the very near future because there's no real choice with this tank. It's got such bad dispersion of 0.50 and the aim time being 2.7 seconds. If you hang back and take shots and treat it like, say, a, uh, I don't know, like a, a, a a marksman kind of tank destroyer or even a reasonably effective tank destroyer in terms of accuracy, you're going to get absolutely walloped. It is not that type of weapon. It's a type of weapon where if you let it go when the reticle is still angling up like that, you are very lucky that it goes in. And that was, and you may not realize it, but for the derp gun, that was actually an outstanding little bit of shot. The best thing about this gun, though, is the HE. If you hit anything in this tank with HE, it just vaporizes. You don't need to worry about splash. It will handle the splash. And now we're pushing up because basically they're coming from the other direction uh, and we're really quite worried about that. Now, you're going to see... I was in the Triari chat today and someone was running this tank and you just heard them say over the shells... I love the sound the shell makes when it hits the ground because that right there is exactly what happens with this tank so often. It's like firing a banana out the end of a howitzer. You never really know what's going to happen. You just know that when it hits, they're going down. Now, heat is obviously not something you want to be firing too often, but in this tank, you don't have a choice. If you're not firing heat, you're not going to pen. It has 135 millimeters of penetration. 
it's not really the gun choice for most people and you can see here that vk we're just turning 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 he has a bit of an error there really poor and snapshot right into the side with he and he vaporizes again you're getting the point it's just it's it's blunt force trauma uh, you're basically firing a shell that has such a huge diameter that if you can get it just to hit something it'll evaporate and the tank like this i think you probably it might be a little less effective at times and it's certainly a lot more trollish but it's hard to imagine having more fun at tier 7 than driving one of these things around and blowing up or one-shotting tier 6s or uh, any tank that's silly enough to get involved with you i mean it really does one-shot tanks you can hit tanks for a thousand damage and there are a lot of tanks at six that don't have a thousand hit points hell I mean, you can get a good roll on a tank and hit it for, you know, 1,100 damage. I mean, it is absolutely phenomenal what you can do in this thing. And it sets guys on fire <laughs> when, you've, when you penetrate them with high e, HE. Um, it, it's just a joy. It's so much fun. It's such a giggle. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean with the next game. Uh, the next game, look at it. <laughs> the sound it makes. <laughs> Let it happen. Um, the next game is on Himmelsdorf. We're going to go the one channel. And we are going to lay waste. It's a two-minute game. And we end up with quite a decent amount of damage in a two-minute game. But we just cause absolute fear and confusion in the enemy team. As we slowly evaporate tanks. Uh, we're just going to punch. Um... We're going left here, obviously Himmelsdorf, the one channel, by that I mean the heavy channel. For those of you that don't know, that is where you go down the grid location, straight down the one track on the far left-hand side or the right-hand side or whatever, but it's basically the the main line. And that's what we're doing. We're going straight down the, the heavy line, we've got a whole lot of heavies, uh, and we're going to have some fun. Now, it's not particularly good at range, but the funny thing is, <laughs> when you connect with this tank at range, and because of the size of the shell, when you go through, you'll quite often ammo rack people. Because the shell is so big and hits so hard and explodes, uh, things go boom. Now, we aren't hanging at the back. You'll note this is not the way you play this tank. You absolutely play this tank like an angry human being. You roll forward and you keep rolling forward until either they're gone or you're gone. It's a puncher's tank. It is a punch drunk tank. You do not stop until the fight is done. And you're going to see what we do to a poor little uh, T20 here with HE. Um, and it's one of the reasons why the tank is obviously so super effective. Uh, you can run HE on this tank. You can see 135 millimeters of pen isn't getting through anything there. And we do actually miss a shot. So we're moving up on the right here. Very, very short game this one. One of the reasons being that we absolutely pulverize them. We've already had one ammo rack. See that T20? HE. That's with high explosive. That's the splash damage of high explosive on a tank with a soft armor profile. I mean, you can run this thing. If you want to make credits, run this thing without actually using anything but AP. Uh, you can see the heat. There we go. We know where the ammo rack is on an IS-3. Let's put one right in there. <laughs> it's just a monster. So my advice to you young humans is if you're playing this tank and you like getting up close and personal, then by all means, run it with the heavies, run it with the mediums. It's quick enough. It's got just enough traverse to do it. Follow the nasties. And when they move out of the way, and any tank that's under 700 hit points is literally a very good chance of being a one shot, just pull the trigger and get back and watch the fireworks. It's hilarious. Myself, I've run it for a long time with the 152 millimeter. I may actually start running it with the 122 just for a bit of a giggle because it's still a really nice tank. Now I haven't done enough um, TD videos of late. I've been very, very busy with bushgrownblitz.com. Now that's up, you should all go along and have a look. Um, if you haven't thought about sponsoring the channel, click along the Patreon link there uh, and you can certainly come along and once you're sponsoring the channel, you can join in the Telegram chat. That's all well and good. Uh, I love this tank, but there's gonna be more TDs coming. We're gonna do a how to TD video. I'm gonna run 
some Object 704, maybe uh, the 268, we've still got to get that one out there. Um, I certainly want to get the SU100 out there. The E3's been done, probably needs to be done again, but it's at the end of the list. So yeah, there you go. Lots more coming down the pipe. I hope you enjoy it. We had to reschedule a stream today that will be happening tomorrow morning, uh, first thing NA time. So yeah, I was on the NA server by the way. They All those guys that said, you're a fake bushka today, you're an idiot, you're a loser. Um, that was me driving my Luvo. I might be a loser, I might be an idiot, but it was really me. Onwards and upwards humans. I love you all. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and for being fantastic little Vegemites. I'm Bushcron Blitz. Stay safe on the Battlefield.